Podcast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. I'm kind of ashamed to say this, but I forgot. Remember yesterday, good. I said I was going to bring in some candy? Yes. I don't have any candy. I That's know it's okay. Halloween. I know we're in the festive spirit, but I don't have any candy. That's now. right. We had the little Butterfingers at 530. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was sufficient enough. And it looks like all those kids, I'm sure, I saw a lot of them out when I was out and about sure. for my dinner break. Hey, they would look like they had a good time getting all that candy. Uh, that's one of my favorite things this time of the year, Absolutely. candy. The best part is, tomorrow, it's all half off yep. the stores. So get it a little <laughs> bit cheaper. Nonetheless, uh, at least you can enjoy your uh, post-holiday celebration well, with clouds. Hopefully, we'll get some warmer temperatures in there, but we don't have to deal with as much rain. Let's take a look at the Doppler radar this evening and have some scattered rain showers. Not too bad. We, we do anticipate very light showers. They'll be breaking up overnight, and we could see a very slight shower tomorrow. We'll throw it in the forecast, but otherwise I think it's going to be a mostly cloudy day compared to the past couple of days of wind and rain and extremely cold temperatures. So we'll be watching for it. Show you all the details in seven day forecast. Otherwise, the almanac for the daytime today, 42 degrees in the capital city, 41 in Jackson and a pair of 35 degree readings this morning. Take a look at the daily precipitation. Still getting some numbers in in both Lansing and Jackson. In your area, you may have seen a little bit of accumulation of the rain. So we'll continue to watch those numbers and we'll have more for you coming up tomorrow at the 530 newscast. Otherwise, temperatures, it's still cold, cool out there. And over the past five hours or so, temperatures really haven't dropped at all, really. They've actually stayed stationary. 39 degrees in the capital city, a pair of 40 degree temperatures in Charlotte, Mason down into Jackson currently at 39 degrees. As you take a look at the uh, wind speeds and wind direction, you're still seeing 5 to 15 mile per hour winds. Now, if you stepped outside, you may not feel it right off the bat, but uh, it comes and goes. So we're going to call a 5 to 15 mile per hour wind overnight tonight. The arrows signify out of the west northwest. Take a look across the region. The big area of low pressure associated with Sandy continues to make its way up to the north. You still see that wrap around from this system. It'll press off to the north for us. You see some clear skies off to the west. That'd be nice to see. Maybe get some sun in here across the area. Doesn't look like it'll happen throughout the daytime tomorrow, although maybe late in the day we'll break out into some sun. I think the better chance of sun comes Friday into Saturday. Temperature wise, we're not really going to be getting that warm. This forecast has us in the 40s for the time being. So whatever weekend plans you may have, including MSU in Nebraska this weekend, still will be chilly. You may need your jacket. Take a look at the future track. The trough still up to our north associated with Sandy. That system will continue to make its way through and give us cloud cover throughout the daytime tomorrow. So by 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. rather on Thursday should be OK. I believe the rain showers will be already done. So as we look to the daytime Friday, may actually be able to open the windows a little bit. Uh, well, I guess maybe not open the windows uh, because temperatures are so cold. But nonetheless, you want to deal with the rain showers out there. Yeah, I'm still thinking it's 50s and 60s outside. Uh, at least maybe we'll return to that. Take a look and end time Friday, 7 p.m more clear skies, so that'll be a sigh of relief, but we're going to get chilly as we look to Saturday morning. Temperatures overnight tonight, I still believe they'll be into the middle 30s. Once we get to the daytime tomorrow, middle 40s, 45, 46 degrees, and it'll be the same scenario as we look to into the daytime on Friday as well. Let's take a look at the forecast overnight tonight. 35 degrees. No, don't open the windows just tonight. 35 degrees. That'll be chilly outside. Northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Could still see some drizzle. How about Hunter? He's ready for 47 degrees. He's got the denim jacket on. He's got the right idea with the long sleeves. Yes, he is. And uh, looks like we'll continue to see more of tomorrow's days ahead, at least temperature wise. 47 Thursday, 45 Friday. A little bit chillier on Saturday, 44 degrees. There's the time change going into Sunday. Hope you remember to set the clock back. And yes, take your extra hour of sleep. I'm sure that you might agree it's a good thing this time of the year. Rain showers possible next week, 20 to 30 percent at the present time. I was going to say, yeah, we're going to need the jackets this weekend for MSU Nebraska. Agreed. All right, thanks a lot, David.